Welcome to our lecture online. Now here's a function, believe it or not, you might actually encounter when you get into more advanced classes. And yes, we would need to know how to find the derivative of this. So first of all, we have a quotient, and then of course we have exponential functions. We know how to do both. We know the quotient rule, and we know the exponentials and the rules associated with that. So let's go ahead and try to find the derivative. So y prime is equal to dy dx, and why do I always write it like this? Well, that way you feel comfortable. You can either write it as y prime or you can write it as dy dx. It means exactly the same thing. And now we take the, the denominator. So the quotient rule is you take the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. So if you say that to yourself 100 times, you will have memorized that rule. So again, I take the denominator, e to the x, plus e to the minus x times the derivative of the numerator. So here, the derivative of the numerator, I take one term at a time, so the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, minus the derivative of e to the x would be e to the x, oh, it is e to the minus x, can't forget the minus, let me be careful here. So e to the minus x times the derivative of minus x, which is a minus one which turns that into a positive one. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator, which is e to the x minus e to the minus x times the derivative of the denominator, which is e to the x. And here we have e to the minus x, so that becomes e to the minus x times the minus one or minus e to the minus x, like that. And here, for simplicity, I'll minus times the minus, this becomes plus, and so I'll just get rid of that to make it easier to look at. And then we take the whole thing and we divide that by the denominator squared, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x, all squared. Now we look for common factors. So notice that in this term right here, we have e to the x plus e to the minus x, and we have e to the x plus e to the minus x. That's two of them. And here we have e to the x minus e to the minus x. And here we have e to the x minus e to the minus x. So we can multiply that together. We can multiply that together. Um, yeah, there's two of them, so we multiply. So this becomes, uh, in the numerator, I don't know if I should use brackets. I'll go ahead and do this. e to the x plus e to the minus x squared minus and I need to leave myself a little bit more room. It's going to look very messy. Let me try that again. Leave a little bit more room. So this becomes e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared minus e to the x minus e to the minus x quantity squared all divided by e to the x plus e to the x, oh, e to the minus x. Got it. Careful of the minus signs here, minus x quantity squared. And notice that this is equal to this. So I can divide the denominator into the numerator. So this can be written as 1 minus e to the x minus e to the minus x quantity squared divided by e to the x plus e to the minus x quantity squared. Again, it's a matter of choice what you prefer. This might just be a cleaner way of writing it, but that is how we find the derivative of something that looks as strange as that. And that is how it's done. Remember, it's high over whole. <laughs> Write down, high over whole. High over whole. And then if it's uh, equal to, then you take the derivative of that. If y equals that. Okay, so if y equals this, then y prime equals whole d high whole d high no, put the high in brackets okay minus high d whole minus high d whole all over ho ho that's how you write it that's interesting so one way to remember using the quotient rule if you have a quotient high over ho you can say ho di high minus high di ho over ho ho. Kind of rolls off the tongue. So say that 100 times. <laughs> you probably only need to say that 50 times. 
so that it sticks. You know, it's interesting, I learned it the other way. The denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. So it's, it's just solid in my brain, but I'm sure that for you, this is solidly in your brain. <laughs> that is true. I like it. That's nice. So now you can choose which one you like better. <laughs>